As we move on to drawing joists in our project, we'll take advantage of the floor container tool up here in the toolbar. The idea behind this tool is that you draw around the perimeter of an area and joists will be generated inside of it at a specified on-center spacing. As you draw in your floor joist containers, you'll need to keep in mind that whenever you have a change in on-center spacing of the joist or in the direction of the joist, you'll need to have a different container. So in the case of our project here, the floor joists for most of the area here are running vertical on the page and that will be one container. But we also have a small section down here where the joists will be running horizontal. So we'll need to draw that as a separate floor container. We'll start with the large area. Come to the toolbar and click the floor tool button. Come to the corner of the container and click and start to draw the first edge. The direction of the first edge that we draw also indicates the direction that the joists will be generated in. We'll continue to draw around the outside of the area where we want joists to be generated. You'll also notice that in addition to the joists being added, there's also rim material being generated around the outside of the container and also hangers being generated where the joists intersect flush beams that we drew earlier. We click the final point of our container and then right click or escape to end the process. And now we have our completed floor container with the generated members. We can make adjustments to the container by right clicking on it and choosing from the different options, such as setting the spacing from 16 inches to 12 inches on center and all of the joists instantly update to match that setting. Another option that we have is to choose to set the framing orientation line. This gives us control over two things. First is the direction that the joists are running and also the location from which they're being laid out. So for example, let's say that we wanted the joists to run left and right on the page. We'll make the selection of set framing orientation line and then draw a line on the page in the direction that we want the joists to go. As we do, the joists change to running left and right on the page. But let's say that we want the joists running vertically on the page again, and we also want them to be laid out from the left-hand side of the container. So in this case, we'll draw a vertical line at the left-hand edge of the container, and the joists are now being laid out from that edge at 16 inches on center. Over in the takeoff items list, you can see that we have floor joists, but no product assigned. So we'll right-click on it, choose product and more products, click into the product selector and we'll find the product we want. In this case we'll select 2x12 dug for number 2, hit tab and click OK. When we do we can see the product has now been assigned and since the default pack was set they've also been sent over to the second floor framing pack. Now since we want to draw more of these joists running horizontally on the page that are basically the same, we'll right click on the container and choose draw more sections like this so we can draw another floor container for this smaller section down here. We'll draw the first edge running horizontally so that the joists are running that direction. Close the container, hit escape, and now we have our second floor container for our upper floor framing. With these floor containers now generally drawn in place, we can move on to adjusting them to fit the specific needs of this project.